Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So, a question I get asked time and time again by so many different people is, how can they speed up the weight loss benefits whilst they're on their one meal a day diet journey? Which is very well known in the intermittent fasting diet movement for producing amazing weight loss results. So yeah, I'm gonna share with you many different ways that you can get to those weight loss results as quickly as possible. And the first one, and the best one out of all of them, is doing high intensity interval training whilst you're in the fasted state. Because combining this type of training whilst you're in a fasted state is gonna maximize human growth hormone production, testosterone production, it's gonna lower insulin even more, which all of those three different benefits are gonna maximize your weight loss benefits as shown through scientific research and they're also gonna increase your muscle mass at the same time, which is another amazing benefit. And you may be thinking, well, intermittent fasting does that on its own, but when you combine them both together, it gives even greater benefits of all of those three things that I just mentioned a short while ago. And it also allows your body to burn through the body fat a lot quicker and high intensity interval training uses up the most energy in the shortest period of time compared to a lot of training methods out there. So by doing the high intensity interval training, your body needs to get fuel from somewhere, so it's gonna start using your body fat as fuel at an even more rapid rate. And you may be wondering, what is high intensity interval training? So it's very, very simple. What you do is you have intervals where you go all out for a short duration of time, anywhere from 10 seconds up to around 30 seconds. Some people do it up to 60 seconds, but you don't need to go to that intensity. For a lot of people, it's just gonna burn out your adrenals, overstimulate your nervous system, and have a negative effect on your mental and physical health holistically. And then after every interval going full out, you then would have a rest and recovery time. So for example, when I used to do hit training on a spin bike, I would go all out for 30 seconds, and then I'd rest for 45 seconds and then I repeat each one 11 times. But what I say is, when you get high intensity interval training, just start off with a low duration of around 10 seconds and rest for around a minute. And then as your body gets used to this more over time, you can increase the interval training time and reduce the rest time and increase the amount of intervals that you have. But make sure that you do this slow and steady. Don't go full out and do as many intervals as possible for as long as possible when you don't have a high level of fitness because yeah, it's just gonna destroy your body and you're gonna feel so, so fatigued. So you cannot sustain it long term. And then it will actually have a negative effect on your hormone production. And then it could actually stop you losing weight. And the second one is training in the morning. And I would recommend for most people just doing some cardio in the morning, but if you wanna do resistance training or some other form of exercise, then that is fine. But by training in the morning, you're getting your body to get into a deeper, fasted state even quicker, which will result in you maximizing the weight loss benefits. And by doing that training in the morning, you're getting your insulin to go down lower even sooner. And you'll also be increasing the production of testosterone and human growth hormone earlier on in your fast. And then for the rest of your fast, it's just gonna continue to increase, increase, increase even more than it would do if you were doing no exercise in the morning. So yeah, if you wanna maximize your weight loss benefits, start doing some fitness in the morning. And the third one, if you feel fine with doing this, then you can do this. This doesn't work for me because I get insanely hungry, my energy levels are not so stable, my mood is not so good, and I actually find that a lot of cravings kick in and it makes it really hard for me to eat one meal a day. But yeah, something that you may be able to do, you can try this out and see if it works for you. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, it does. So yeah, the simple one is reducing your calorie intake with the meal that you're eating for your one meal. So yeah, just experiment with this and how many calories you're already at, try it and start to slowly, slowly decrease it. Don't do some extreme thing and massively cut your calories by a huge amount because that could be too drastic for your body and it could just make you rebound and start getting you to eat in multiple meals a day because your cravings just go out of control and you don't feel so good. So yeah, just give this a go, see if it works for you. Like I said, if it doesn't, it doesn't, if it does, it does. And the reason why this works, as a lot of people will already know, is by eating less calories, you're gonna get into a deeper fasted state even quicker because the more calories 
you have, the more glucose and fuel that your body is being provided with from the food source that you've been eating. So then the longer it takes your body to burn through that and the longer it takes you to get into a deeper fasted state. So yeah, by significantly reducing your calorie intake, you'll get into a fasted state even quicker that is gonna then give you all of those amazing benefits that I mentioned earlier on the video for a longer duration of time. And the fourth one, which is hardly anyone that talks about this, is by supplementing with specific nutritional supplements. So for example, so many people are chronically low in zinc, and when zinc is low, estrogen levels go up, testosterone levels go down, so their muscle mass goes down, and body fat goes up. Also, another nutrient, chromium and vanadium are key for blood sugar regulation and optimal insulin as well. So yeah, certain nutrients are absolutely key to give you the best hormonal production possible that is going to optimize your weight loss results whilst also increasing your muscle mass at the same time. So you want to be making sure you are taking a multi-nutrient supplement that has the most bioavailable form of each nutrient in it with nothing toxic added to it. And what I say is 99% of the supplements on the market do not come under this criteria. I work with so many clients around the world that I create supplementation programs from and time and time again, 100% of the time, the clients I work with, I go through the supplements and I'm like, no, don't take them. They're not the most bioavailable form of each nutrient. They've got toxic things added to them. They're not high enough dosages for each nutrient to actually give you the full benefits as well. So what I'm gonna do is put some links down below for some supplements. One's gonna be with copper and iron. If you feel that you're low in iron, which a lot of people are, then get that one. But if you don't think that you need copper and iron, then get the one that is without copper and iron that there'd be a link down below for. And if you want one that's even got slightly more nutrients in it but costs the most, there will be links down below for that one and all of the supplements. There will be UK, US and worldwide supplies. And I would recommend with each of these taking the maximum dosage at least once every day and make sure that you take it with your one meal. Do not take it in a fasted state because for a lot of people it can make them feel quite sick. And number five, and I recommend doing this in a fasted state, is doing a sauna. I do these once every other day. And what it does, it increases your body temperature, makes you sweat a lot, increases your heart rate, and does a whole host of other effects on your body which allows your body to burn even more calories and body fat as fuel. And it has been shown through scientific research, if you start doing saunas for around 30 minutes or more at relatively high temperatures, I can't remember the exact temperatures, but I will find the scientific research and put a link down below for, it actually has a positive effect on things such as your hormonal production. So those alongside the calorie burning benefits and fat burning benefits are gonna help maximize your weight loss results in the shortest period of time. And I absolutely love infrared saunas. They're my favorite. They are the best type of saunas out there because they get your body to lose a lot less water, a lot more toxins, which is just one of the best ways to detoxify your body and your skin is one of the large detoxification pathways. So yeah, it just helps optimize your mental health and your physical health by getting out all of those toxic substances that people are getting into their body from regular basis, from food that has pesticides on them, herbicides, environmental toxins, and all these other different toxins that we cannot completely avoid. And yeah, it just helps give me amazing skin health. But I know not everyone has access to an infrared sauna, but if you can't, then just go with a standard sauna or even a steam room. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. And please share this video with anyone you think would love to learn about five different ways that they can speed up the weight loss results whilst embarking on the one meal a day diet, intermittent fasting journey. Because yeah, so many people, as I mentioned earlier on the video, want to get the most rapid weight loss results possible for understandable reasons. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more different videos from me on a regular basis, where I'll be talking about many different topics such as one meal a day, intermittent fasting, also showing you calisthenics workouts, calisthenics progressions, what I eat for my one meal a day on a plant-based vegan diet, also showing you what I do in a day, and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you, but also to teach you many valuable things 
to push you in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace.